Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is the Pro Stock Sticks Hockey Stick Review. They were kind enough to send me this stick to do a review on and to make some content on. I use it a bunch and I can compare them against other sticks. But before that, if you are in the United States and interested in purchasing hockey equipment, please check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey. Clicking that link, make and purchase gives me a kickback that helps support the channel so I keep making content and doing reviews. Otherwise, if you want to support me, check out the link in the description to Patreon or buy me a coffee. Using either of those, everything from that will go right back into the channel so I can keep making more content. Reviewing this stuff is expensive without just doing snapshot reviews and it would be greatly appreciated. A little bit of background to these sticks. Obviously there's like no graphics here, but the pro and the red line at the back. I think these look really clean and really nice. They're unique and they kind of look like the, like a pro stock stick that isn't really graphicked up for things. So like they didn't pay for the rights. I think it looks awesome. Now. Here is the details of this one specifically. It's McDavid 97. So this is Connor McDavid's pro curve. It's actually his curve. It's not the CCM McDavid or anything like that. 77 flex, 2020, obviously the year. And the seven is the batch number. So I don't know if that's a total batch number just for this year, but that is how this code kind of works. Talking to someone who actually has passion like this and who actually knows what they're talking about is such a breath of fresh air. Cause you talk to some other people in the industry or just like other companies that aren't bigger branded companies. And it's just, they don't really know what they're going at. That's not the case for this guy. I asked him a ton of questions. He instantly got back to me in terms of like what he knew about it, or if he didn't know, he would kind of explain what he did know about it. It was awesome. So one thing that I am going to preface this by saying is that I have always been skeptical of the lower brand stick companies that say we make a top end stick for a third of the price or half the price. And I've never found them to be anywhere close for performance, basically at all. Weight, you can get there, but performance, no. Even a bigger brand like Sherwood, while it was a budget stick before the Code 5, the performance was never really there as a top end stick. So this thing comes in 159 US dollars for one stick and it weighs their website says, I think 370, I'll correct that. Mine came in at 383 and actual size of it. So this is a jet speed FT3 pro. That is the difference in size. So it's like maybe an inch. So as a comparable for Bauer and it would be warrior and, and true that, so that is the size right there. So it is bigger than most normal size sticks. So this stick is doing a few things that kind of make it stand out. One, it is pretty lightweight, but chasing weight is a numbers thing now. And it doesn't really matter that much to me. But two is offering super unique curves and I'll show a list of them on the screen right now so you'll actually see them all. And these are actual curves that NHLers use. Pro Stock Hockey Sticks makes mold based on actual Pro Stock curves and ends up making sticks with the curve itself. For example, this is legitimately Connor McDavid's curve that he used in the, I think he switched now, but at one point this is what he was using. It's kind of a P92, but with a much, much flatter. For comparison, a P, 92 Bauer and obviously that's a max height one but when you put them side by side you can see the difference in shape and the big part is is when we flip this over you can see how much flatter that curve is now this is obviously tailored to the specific pros preference so you have to kind of figure out which one would be closest to you so if you're interested in the stick reach out to them and find out which one you'd really like. I think the Matthews, which is called Pappy, is really close to a P92. So that one would work a bit better for me. But there's some crazy curves on there with crazy toe hooks. There's like Kolachek's curve. And it's really interesting and really awesome. There's, there's also Ryan O'Reilly's curve with a really cool toe, hink, which you can see, toe kink, which you can see right here. Really awesome stick. And if you want to try that, you don't now have to switch hands because you can use order it both ways because you can get it with these sticks. So I love that this is an option. I love this is a thing. A lot of times I have people who love pro stock sticks, but specific curves and can't really find them as much anymore. This is a great option if it's one of your curves. And it's really cool just to see what the pros use or actually try it. For me, I hated this blade, absolutely hated it. So one thing I'm taller than Connor McDavid. So if this is his full length, like the length of stick he uses, I'm not sure I didn't actually look into it or anything. This just never worked for me. Basically the toe was either touching the ice when I wasn't expecting it because it's not as rounded as the other ones were, or the heel was and the whole thing was up. 
It just never worked for me at all. I'd lose it stick handling. I'd lose a puck passing. It was just a huge pain and struggle to use this because of this actual blade shape itself. But that's kind of the point of these is that these are tailored for pros. I'm used to retail curves. If you have something you really like, check them out because they might have something really cool and which works really well for you. This one just honestly doesn't for me and it's kind of a pain. I might have to cut this stick down so it kind of changes my the lie on it or how I hold it. So it works, the lie works better with my stance, but for what this was, it didn't work for me at all in terms of like stick handling and passing. Just because this blade was so flat at the bottom and just the actual lie of it, it was just too different for me to get used to. Now, another awesome thing what Pro Sock Hockey Six does is they offer custom graphics as well. And I'll kind of just show the pictures on their website that they've done. So you can order a batch of custom sticks with custom graphics. There's obviously a fee to it, but it is pretty a pretty cool option, a pretty cool thing to do. Personally, with my logo colors and stuff, I could think of some really awesome designs. I'm not going to do it because I have enough sticks as is, but it's a really interesting idea and you can really like nail it down and do custom sticks like if you have a team you can just do a batch of custom colors if you want to which is a pretty awesome thing one of the things that makes me really excited about this stick and it's kind of sad but i've brought it up to them a bunch of times already is how good the grip is on this stick and the other awesome thing about this this company is that you can get different style of grips you can get the full wrap basketball grip you can get the supreme grip where it's tactile over here again i'm going to overlay these videos so you can see the different ones and you can get like the candy cane spiral grip on the white one you can get all these different tactile grips and now basically what's happening at the retail market is all the companies are kind of pulling away from the tactile grip that's disappointing to me because i love the feel of that and a lot of companies had that in the past and a lot a ton of pros use it still so it's a kind of cool option to be able to get without going full custom on Bauer to do it. CCM, you just can't get it unless you go pro stock and someone has it. This is an option to get a curve you like and what a grip you like as well. So it's a huge thing there. Now, the reason I'm actually really excited about this is how good the grip feels. Now I like looked over everything on this stick and I looked for bubbles and little scratches and stuff. And there are a couple little nicks here from playing which is to be expected but it's not like ccms where the the thing like flakes off as you can see here or anything like that it legitimately feels nicer the grip itself and everything feels nicer than bauer and that to me is a huge compliment because right now i believe bauer is still kind of leading in the whole grip section everyone else has kind of gone a different direction ccms is way too thin and it's not like grippy enough at all and it's like it just it doesn't feel as nice. Bauer is still, I think, really good, except they got away the tactileness, which bothers me. Warrior does a, their grip is built into the graphic and no longer a spray, so it's kind of a different feeling thing. This is amazing. So it feels so consistent and it's almost like it's soft to the touch. It isn't soft to the touch, but it almost feels like that compared to the other companies like CCM now. But the consistency is amazing on your hands. It's amazing on the gloves. And if having that tactile just is an awesome thing there. They don't cheapen out on grip here. And I this is my theory with CCM now is that they don't use tactile grips or anything like that. And they use less and less spray to keep the weight down. This is not like cheapened out at all. It feels un amazing and it feels premium. And it's like this makes this makes me want to use this stick all the time just for how great it feels in your hands. And that's a huge compliment coming from me. It's just the blade curve just doesn't work at all for me. Another thing I want to bring up on the blade itself is it doesn't have the textured finish that all basically all the new companies are doing now. This is a stamping process. And so they don't have that process in their manufacturing. But what they do have is a shark skin finish. So it is textured still. Again, that's a spray. Hopa offers something similar. That is like basically the same end result. Just gives a little bit of grip finish to the blade itself. You don't really need it. I don't really think it makes a huge difference to be honest, but it's nice that it's there and it makes the stick just feel a little bit, again, more quality. It's kind of the reoccurring theme with this stick is quality, especially compared to some of the lower companies. Like everything about this is just really solid. Another thing that I wanna cover and I think is pretty impressive is, so their carbon weave structure is basically the same as CCM's in terms of how many K, I can't remember how it is. I'll overlay it if I find a message explained it. But the weave is basically the same as CCM and, the, and talking to them, they did go through multiple iterations until they got the weave that they wanted 
specifically and he brought in his own carbon fiber into the factory to make the sticks because he wanted a specific quality now that is going to the extra detail a lot of the small companies just go on aliexpress or alibaba find bulk sticks order them kind of slap their logo on them that's it they are going a whole other step of one making their own curve patterns which is amazing because that's those molds aren't cheap and it's really impressive and two bringing in their own specific carbon fiber so they can the weave quality and the quality of product that they want and that is extremely impressive they're not quite at the size for weave as bauer is because bauer is honestly on like the whole new level of like their, how uh, wide their actual individual weave is i think i can't remember what the k is but it's bauer is impressive in that sense ccm's is that smaller weave as well so I find that really impressive on these sticks as well. Again, they're not, this isn't like a budget construction stick. It's just not high pricing because of the manufacturer on it. And again, that's super, super impressive. I am going to show a couple of videos that they sent me to go over just to kind of cover the different iterations they're doing and to show how they are kind of moving it, like trying to make the quality of the product better and better and better and not just kind of sticking with whatever is brought to them. And these are changes that they're coming up with and doing not that the manufacturer is coming up with or offering. So the very first thing is the actual just uh, nameplate, name bar, and the details. You can see that there's slight differences. They basically, the, the newer version got the sizing down right, and so it's all straight. It's the correct way it should have been. They had a different manufacturer before, basically just couldn't get it to be as precise as they wanted to, and they kind of just nailed that down with the new one, and it's better looking and looks more like a pro stock stick and like pro stock labels. Another piece is the taper is now different. You can see it's now a one piece construction where their older one was a two piece. You can see that taper and how much more aggressive that taper is compared to the old one. This is still a mid kick stick, but it is kind of a unique taper in that sense. And it's not just uniform width all the way through. Again, this is them updating their stick and trying to get a better quality stick and better shooting stick out of it. I didn't have the original version, so I can't say if the shooting was any different, but from, the, from what I've used in this, I've been pretty impressed so far. And the, finally, they have like a little bit of graphics difference. You can see the old manufacturer was not quite as straight and precise on the red graphic on the bottom. So all these little changes just show the attention to detail that they have. The blade itself, pretty stiff blade, but it's not like Flylight stiff or AS3 stiff. So here is the sound it makes compared to a jet speed. So this blade is a bit pingier than both of the sticks here. I'm comparing them all because they're both similar type of kick point. They're mid kicks, hybrid kicks. They're basically mid kicks. They're good all around for everything. This blade is a bit stiffer and pingier than the Bauer and the CCM. A lot, actually, is a lot uh, pingier than the Bauer. Here's the Bauer sound. Here's the Pro Stock Hockey Sticks. You can definitely feel in your hands a bit more how that pinginess. It is pretty close to a jet speed. And I would say when stick handling, it's slightly pingier and possibly stiffer, but it's just slightly pingier than what a jet speed is as well. But again, nothing like the Flylight, nothing like the AS3 Pro. Feels good in the hands. Passing everything was really good in terms of feel. And it was really nice for that. The 77 definitely plays true to flex. Um, it was way too whippy for me. When I was making hard passes, I could feel it. When I was receiving hard passes, I could feel it. When I was shooting, I could just feel it was too whippy for me. It was kind of coming out. The blade was kind of coming out from underneath itself when I was trying to actually play. So I would have to go to an 80, but this is what they had in stock. So we went with this. Basically shooting the stick is all what really matters and does it like hold up. So this isn't the best shooting stick I've ever used. That's the AS3 Pro. It, that one shoots the hardest. But this thing feels really close to the ultrasonic and the geo in terms of actual shot release and everything which are i'm very impressed with both of those and i was also impressed with this one i have a feeling i'd be even happier with an 85 because i had to kind of change a little bit because of the 77 but this thing wasn't like blowing my mind but it was really good i still think the ft3 the quick release is kind of ridiculous there and same with the trigger four and trigger five. This is kind of a step down on that, but it's still in the same ballpark as I'm going to say a Geo and the ultrasonic. I think it's better than what the 2N Pro was. And that is a lot of praise for me. It's a really solid stick. And those are still top tier sticks. They're not like a, a Sherwood stick, which is one rung below. This is better than what that is. So that is huge praise for me. And like, I'm really impressed with it. 
like I would say this plays pretty close to shooting, like shooting ability to what the trues I've used in the past. And that's really good. And that's not 300 and something dollars for that stick. I think it's like 350 now for trues. So that's solid amount of performance out of this stick compared to the competition. And I'm really impressed with it and why I really like this stick and like this brand and think you should definitely check them out. I couldn't really take slap shots with this because it was a 77 and it was too whippy. So I can't really talk about that. Finally, one of the really, really cool things about this company is you have to follow them on Instagram because they do different builds and batches. So right now, a ton of NHL players use a stick called a G3 build. And basically it's based on an old, I think Bauer 195, Bauer Total 1. Don't quote me on that. They would know 100%, I can't remember. But the weave is a lot tinier than this because it's like an old style build. Ovechkin uses a stick that's really similar to what the G3 build is. And they did limited release and kind of small batches of G3 builds with the curves of the players using them. So like there was an OV1 a few weeks ago and I'll show it up on the screen right now of their Instagram to show it off. That's really cool. And that's why you should definitely follow them on Instagram because that like is a opportunity to use a pretty awesome stick there. And I'd be interested to try that out once in a while to see how the slap shots and stuff are. Cause it seems like Weber's kind of using something I think similar to. So it'd be interesting to see how all those really power, power shooters are using that style of stick. And that tech isn't like futuristic tech. That tech is older tech, but just works so well that people really like it. That's about it for this review of the Pro Stock Hockey Sticks stick. This is the mid kick. They do have a low kick. I didn't get a chance to use it, but this one is the mid kick one itself. I'm extremely impressed. If this curve just worked at all for me, I'd be using this stick a lot more. It's really high quality. It shoots really well. The grip is amazing. And they actually know their stuff and they're not just reselling something from overseas. I'm really, really impressed with this. At $159 US, it's a bargain for what it is. And you don't have to worry about things going on sale. You can just buy it. The only thing is because of the exchange rate for Canada, Canadians are kind of getting screwed right now. But even then, I would rather pay like 200 bucks for this than 300 for that Sherwood. Like not even close. And then this would be like $160 less than what this stick costs. And to be honest, I'm buying this for 160 bucks less. So I never had issues when using this stick about performance. And so when I was using it, I never thought, wow, if I was using something else, I like that shot might've come off harder. I would have been able to play a little bit better. And that that's saying a lot for me because it does happen quite often. A lot of the sticks I end up using for testing, I kind of wish I could go to something else pretty quickly. That's not the case at all with this one. And that is a very high praise for me and very impressive. If it wasn't for the curve, like I mentioned, I would be using this stick a lot and be in my major rotation. It's just that curve, I, I just can't get used to it and switch back between other ones because it is so different. Overall, like I said, I'm a huge fan of this stick. I definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend people checking it out. Like I said, I'm always skeptical of the smaller companies coming out with sticks and claiming how good their stuff is. This company cares. The guy who's behind this cares about sticks. He cares about testing stuff. He has a passion for it. He has crazy collection of sticks. He cuts up signed sticks so he can send the blade off to get a mold of it. So you, then he can make sticks like these of that actual player mold. That's really impressive and honestly an awesome dedication. Definitely check these out. Definitely put them on your list as something to try. I'm a huge fan of it. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have one of these. Let me know your experiences of it. Let me know your, also let me know your dream curve and grip combo and everything. And if you want custom graphics, let me know your custom graphics. I have some ideas that I'd want to do, but I can't justify spending that money on that much sticks because I have too many to begin with. Again, thank you very much for watching. If you are making any hockey purchases and you're in the United States, please check out the link in the description too. Pure Hockey, click that link, make a purchase, gives me a kickback, it helps support the channel so I keep doing videos and making more content. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description too. Buy me a coffee and Patreon. Everything that goes through there comes right back into the channel so I can make more content and doing hopefully more long-term reviews because that's the real you're watching hockey reviews. Reviews.